Swadika, everybody, welcome to today's training. Again, we're working on lesson number three today. So, uh, yeah, first of all, again, as per the other two lessons, we're starting off with the warm up. So, first of all, starting off with uh, four exercises. Uh, the first one is just going to be lunge to knee. So, what do you want to do here is actually a reverse lunge. So, stand in a nice, great, wide, wide Muay Thai stance, hands up, step backwards from there. And now I'm going to step forward and fire the knee from the back. Onto the toe and back there again. Okay. Again there, there. Onto the toe and back. Make sure those hands stay up here. And there. And work. Okay. It's going to be 10 on this side. And then we're going to swap around. And just from there again, just there. Forward and backwards. Make sure you power onto the toe and back. Again. Okay. Get to number 3. And back. Good. That's your first exercise. Complete 10 repetitions on this leg. From here, we're going to go into hollow body crunches. So, with hollow body crunches, as I always say, it's pretty much covers the full frontal core here. So, what I'm going to do is first of all make sure your head is up. Secondly, I'm going to lift my legs, pointing my toes out and arms out here. Now, Elbows and knees touch. Look at my position, it's still. It's not moving. Now just extend and back. Again, extend and back. Extend and back. Nice and slow. There's no need to rush it. Nice and slow. Get the full work here and back. Okay. Again, you're your breathing. Inhale, yeah? Inhale, lots of oxygen going in here, and then exhale. Good. 30 rep repetitions. Okay. From there, bicycle crunches. So, bicycle crunches, again, just putting a little bit more rotation on the core. Hands here, and I'm going to hold on to my hip. Just here, okay? I'm going to rotate, touch. Out. Rotate, get my rotation around my middle. Again, nice and slowly. And back. And, 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 get up my breathing. And, again, complete 30 repetitions. That will be 15 per side. So 30 in total. Good. Right, from here onwards, we're going to work down to just a push up. We're going to do not just normal push up, do the push up, hold it, one, two, three, come back up again. Go, okay. complete 10 repetitions. So from there, nice push up position, come down, hold, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, down, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. Three and up. One, two, three and up. One, two, three. Okay. Right, guys. So do that. Once you've done them all, repeat them once more. Cool. So pause the video now. Please complete your, your warm up exercises. Hi right, guys, okay, cool. Uh, so the third time, or oh, lesson three as well, guys, we're working on some basic punches. Okay, so um, you yeah, are working through basic punches, basic Muay Thai punches. So we're going to work from there. Um, there are different punches we can use in Muay Thai. However, they are seen more as Western boxing punches. Um, so we'll teach those to you as we go along. However, for now, we're working just off the very, very traditional Muay Thai punch. Okay, so first of all, standing our stance here, working of our normal jab cross, pretty much a standard punch right throughout different disciplines of martial arts. However, with Muay Thai, what makes it very different is, is not just a snappy 
snappy punch. It's, it's actually working the hips and making sure those hips work. Okay, so first of all, taking up our stance again, it's working there, yeah, back foot up, there, core engage, yeah, strong, there, yeah. Now, with the jab cross, make sure my, my weight distribution is slightly towards the front. I don't want to be leaning over completely as far that my back foot actually picks up as I go along or actually pulls in because that's the other one I see. Okay, so from now, I'm going to stand still, there, strong, here, and I'm going to take my front, I'm going to work in here. Now, as I do that, my hips will turn, heel there, turns, and I'm pressing my punch forwards. Okay, now, just as important is my opposite one. Okay, guys, I see this, guys going here, opening up completely, or just hanging down here. So make sure I work here nice and strong, there, here, and then get that front, forwards, punch, nice strong guard here, and come backwards again. Again, here, talk, talk, towards the front and back. Talk, back. Again, pressing forward. Wait forward. Here we go. Go. Again, have a nice little step in between, make sure I work my rhythm. Go okay, again there, this here, talk and back. Go, okay, talk and back. Common mistake I see guys, when working your, your weight is really forward, guys all of a sudden punching down here, they're punching to here. Go, okay, make sure you're still punching at face height. Yeah, unless you're obviously intentionally going for the body shot. So, so working out, just there and back. Go, okay, now the back one, same thing, my cross. I'm going to step forward, torque my hips, torque my hips, throw my weight towards my front foot, there, nice and good guard here, and back again. Okay, again there, and yeah. Okay, and there, and there. Now, before I go on, common thing I see is just extending here. So, guys are either punching like that, or well, they're just extending here, doing literally this. Okay, what you want to do is first of all, pick up here, and you're going to form a bit of a snap here, working out there. So, just getting that elbow across here. Secondly, where is my point of connection? There, okay, those two knuckles, those two knuckles. That's where I want to connect. So, I'm coming around here, see a slight angle of my fist, Coming down there and back again. Okay, slight angle, trying to work there and back again. Get elbow up first and then press out and come back in again. At this point, I need to stress the shortest way and the quickest way from A to B is a straight line, not down to A, B, or via C. To B. So, see the other guys do is a drop, work, and then from here. So, you're dropping and then through. So, watch out for that. Nice and relaxed. Straight forward and back again. Straight forward, back again. When you're coming back again, it's not via Schumann's glue from back. Just straighten and back. Go. So, make sure we do that. So, straight out, straight back. Stay as still as possible. Stay as calm as possible. Remember, the more wound up I am, Slow the punches. When you're thinking of putting lots of power in there, you just slow. All right, so be relaxed here and just get that punch out here and work that punch out there. And, and, and. I'm just reminding myself of something as well. Watch out that you don't push yourself away. Okay, so let's say I'm talking at the front. I'm talking. There. I'm pressing forward and back here. Now, what I see is a lot is here. Guys coming up and as they come around, they're actually pressing away, their body away from it. So get that body weight at the front, coming forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Get a rhythm in between and work through. Now, previous lesson, previous calm, we've worked on that movement. Now, bring that jab crossing and work through your movements, going forwards, left and right, backwards. And also make sure that we've got a circular step work in there. Okay, one, two, three, and work in. Okay, get it in there, 
the quicker you are, the better you'll become at it. Make sure you practice it from both sides. So again, yeah, jab cross. Make sure left hand side or your, your normal orthodox stance. Let's start there. Orthodox stance. Three minute rounds. Swap it around. Three minute rounds on the other side, and then you know bring in bring in some circular steps. Bring in some one two three switches. And, and just work it from there. Maybe get an extra few minutes on that. Okay, guys. So that's your first of all your basic jab and cross. So from there, you're going to go into a little bit more of your traditional Muay Thai hooks. Now, first of all, to discuss the distinction between the traditional Muay Thai hook and your boxing hooks, I'm going to show you the boxing hook first. Okay. So it's it's a it is a technique. It's a, it's a, it's a hook that is is. We all know very well. Again, guys, it doesn't say it cannot be used in Muay Thai. It's still a very effective punch. Okay, it's just not as traditional. So, so working from here, I'm gonna bring in that hook. Yeah, elbow nice and high. Yeah, look at my fist position, and then and back in again. So this is my traditional hook. So from here again, my, my weight distribution coming in towards the front. I'm closing off and I'm talking. Yeah. Elbow, chin chucked. There, elbow nice and high. Look at my first position there, and not necessarily like this. Okay, here. Come back in. Again, my hips must move with me. Opposite side, again, pushing my weight distribution forward, and back in there, and there. Again, nice and relaxed. And work it. Again, guys, a lot of guys going and trying to throw these hooks from here. Not the case, just make sure I'm getting that. Those hips around and throw the hook. Okay, the traditional Muay Thai hook, it is important, it's something we do in class, it's something we teach in class, which please, please go through it, you know, practice it a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to go into a little bit more traditional hooks now. So, when your, your opponent gets pretty close to you, what you want to try and do is you want to try and focus, especially trying to get through the guard here. Go. So working on a hook, your normal traditional defense is this here. Okay, closing off, close, yeah. So making sure I'm, I normally shut here. Now, some of the guys go and they're tired, or maybe they, they're new, and they leave a bit of a gap there. Now, this is exactly what I'm trying to exploit with the short hook. Okay, so also, maybe this is also a reason why I'm not working the elbow here, because especially when it comes in close, I traditionally want to use the elbow. However, now the short hook, I've spotted that gap and I'm trying to work right through the middle. So here, I'm just going to try and create an angle, stepping out slightly. Here, look at my first position. Elbow must always be higher than the hand. And now I'm going to torque my hips, again pressing my weight forward. So there, here, torque my hips, working through the gap. Here. Okay. Now guys, normally with your, with your 10 ounce boxing gloves we compete with, that becomes a little bit more difficult. We also remind yourself that the guys working with the ropes in Thailand, this punch will be a little bit more beneficial to them, but, but still a very good punch. Okay, so it's still something we can use. So just came from there, there, yeah, torque the hip and work around there. Talk the hip, yeah, elbow up, there, work here and then Elbow up and come down here, chin height, then pressing weight forwards, making sure this is higher, elbow is higher than the punch, okay, then so slight angle I'm following and then I'm coming back in. Watch this hand, doesn't go, back here, yeah, and back, there, okay, try to create an angle, you guys have done the circular step, so combine it with the circular step there, and there, so take the step out. Circular step. Okay. Work that in there. Get in there. Follow it up. Cool. So let's do that quickly. Again, three minutes. Step and work. Circular step. There. Step. Work. Okay. Make sure your weight distribution comes towards the front. Get in there. Stay relaxed. Work it through. Cool, guys. That is your short hook. Okay. Repeat it to me, guys. Pause the video quickly and let's just work. The, the short hook for about three minutes. Go with the circular step. Take your time, take it slowly. Remember, if you can't do it fast, no, if you can't do it slow, don't do it fast. All right, good guys, fantastic. Okay, so from here, 
we're going to work a little bit more distance. Okay, so your opponent is at our normal distance that we normally fight. So if we are working from here, okay, I always want to be at a place where I'm going to be able to extend my punches and extend my kicks. Okay, trying to do maximum damage by putting myself in as little a risk as possible. So if I'm close by, the bigger the chances of me being hit. Okay, so I'm working at a nice angle where I'm working where I can touch opponent, but I've got enough space and room to work with and to counter. Cool. So make sure I've got that and we've got maybe a partner at home, work with a partner and just uh, always say, get that extension there, feel where they are, just touch them here and make sure that on my punches I can touch them by extending and using my hips. However, I've got enough room to ride and to move as I go along. So this is where the long hook comes in. So the long hook I'm working at my range. Okay, but it is not within my bubble. As I said, it's at range, and I want to try and get him over here. So again, let's start here. I'm going to start with the back punch. Get my weight distribution onto the front. There, work around. There, work around. Talk my hips. Hand stays up here. Talk my hips. Look at that angle of my hand, and then also look where my elbow is. Again, it's higher than my hand. Where am I aiming, guys? Jawline. So yeah, work there, front and back. Okay, again there, work the repetitions from the back, press, back foot up, and back. Okay, the same on the other side, yeah, pressing my weight towards the front and Okay, so get your repetitions going on left and right, there, yeah. and make sure you're extending those punches. Look at it from the side, and extending from the side, good. Okay guys, so punches, extend them, make sure you, uh, again, try, repeat, 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 three minutes, swap your stance on your south ball, an orthodox stance, and work the same. Okay. Okay guys, that's your long hook. Pause the video, let's complete that. Right guys, ready to go. Okay, good. So from here, we're gonna go into the returning back fist. So where do I use this? So when I work on my hook, especially or even my long hook, I could, the possibility is there that I can miss. Okay, well, as with anything. Now this is the price shot, I miss and I come back. So, when I come in there, here, pressing my weight into the front side, I've, I've missed my short hook, I've missed my long hook, and from here, I'm going to come back, and I'm hitting with the back of the hand, like a hammer fist, there. Okay, and look at my angle, I'm coming down and out. It's also not wrong if you want to work downwards. No problem, so working from here, I like the one just working down and up, there. But now I'm gonna swing myself, that I place myself in arms way again, just here, close. Okay, opposite side here, nice and close. Then, good, just get there, get your movements, and. Okay, to weight to the front, working long hook, short hook, and return. Good, okay, guys, it's a pretty easy, pretty easy movement, just make sure I'm here. And I'm working back with the back of the fist in slow motion. There I'm controlling and I'm returning back to my stance, back foot up, core engaged, and I'm all there. Okay, all right guys, again repeat, three minutes, left and right. So where to go? Right, good stuff guys. So from there, we're gonna go on to the Cobra Punch. Okay, so the Cobra Punch is also known as the Bowler Punch and uh, or the Overhead Hook Punch. Guys, come in. What you want to do is you want to cut right through the top, over the top of, of the opponent's guard, working through the middle of the guard. So the guard is here. You want to try and slice right over here, especially the hands are hanging down here a bit. Okay, so the hands are up there. You want to slice over. Remember, it's not always meant for a knockout. Just by doing that, 
what do you do? You create a tension, you create a distraction at top gear, leaving you or leaving your opponent open for other strikes. So again, the cobra punch here, there, elbow up. And what I want to do is I'm going to get from there and I'm driving, look at my hand position, I'm driving my hand down, pressing downwards. Okay, so there, here, front movement, leaning over slightly, here, there, and punching down and back up. Now again, I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm not punching here, I'm, I'm exposing myself here. I've got control there, yeah. I've got control up and there and stay nice and tight, yeah. Nice follow up movement, so just around and just work that. Okay, so again, orthodox stance, work, left, right, stay nice and relaxed, three minutes. Swap around, elbow position is high, so remember I'm not coming around like this now. I want to come almost down, elbow position high, and I'm punching downwards and back again. Okay, punching downwards and back again. So look at your elbow positioning here. Good. We're going to step up and create more of an angle there. That's the difference, called the throwing hook. But from here, just there, and just get an elbow up and down. Cool guys, complete again, pause, three minutes, normal orthodox stance, and then swap, do the same on the other side. Come from cut, right. Guys, so just working into our last two punches, just working to the uppercuts. So again, just your uppercut punch, hands up here, elbow, drop it slightly towards the side that you want to punch with, and from here I'm driving, from the front, here, popping, but not drop, picking up my, my chin, dropping and working straight up. Again, don't work from here, just here, keep it close, there and straight up. Okay, again, in and up. Same on the other side, yeah, in and up. Now you can work it close, you can work it far, you can work it to the body, you can work it to the body. Okay, just get it in, very important, yeah, weight distribution, there, Again, weight distribution still stays at the front, We're dropping the opposite shoulder, and from here, dropping, look at my hand, it talks, there, bam, and up. Okay, again guys, repeat, three minutes left, three minutes right, I'm saying left and right, orthodox stance, and your normal stance, oh, oh unorthodox, southpaw stance. Okay, alright, next one, a little bit more of a more of a run punch, it's a double uppercut. So, working out of the double uppercut, yeah. Again, you want to work up, again creating the gap in the middle, work up here, and then pop the hips, and, and working the double uppercut to here, or to the solar plex. Okay, there, work, and, so again, slight, slight drop, slight drop, and press forward. Don't want to drop it from here. Slight drop, and press forward. Okay, again, just work that right through the middle here or even into the solar plexus. Pretty easy, you're going to do that from your orthodox stance and your southpaw stance. Close up the gap here and press it straight up there. Remember, my power comes out of my hips. Okay, there. Good. Right, guys. Okay, that is for today's, uh, today's card lesson. Um, the, the technique. Thank you very much.